Okay, so today I um, am changing out my RODI. This has served me very well. Um, I have a little bit different opinions on RODIs. Uh, a lot of guys say go big and be happy with it. Um, I really kind of don't feel that way. I like to buy RODI systems and um, figure them out myself. And uh, what I was running here is there's a there, I mean, it was a five-phase setup. It was set up for under the sink, but uh, I converted it to just four phases there. Yeah, basically, uh, sediment here, carbon, carbon, and then this is the uh, RO membrane, which is pretty new. And then back here, I have my DI. There was some little DI setups up here, but I, I wanted to run a dual canister setup for my DI. Um, that way I could see the color changes and just swap them out and it's just easier to do it that way. Um, that way there's no mistakes. But um, I've run this for a couple of years I guess now. Um, almost a couple of years. And uh, it leaves a whole lot to be desired. The, the fittings are really cheap. Um, the, the flushing is manual. The, um, the membrane in here, um, I upgraded it to a better membrane but it's still not the greatest. The the fittings are secure and snug, but I'd I'd have preferred having all clear ones. And there's no way to walk, to monitor TDS unless you have uh, one of these cheap little things here. So um, and then you know all you're measuring then is the water that comes out. So it leaves a lot to be desired, and I'll probably just put it under the sink or get rid of it. I'm not really gonna think too much about it but I have another one that I'm putting in and that's basically what this video is going to cover okay so here's the uh, new units I've had it kind of just sitting here a couple of weeks but uh, I think it's time to go ahead and set it up it's made by ice cap I'm a big fan of ice cap um, just upon initial um, view uh, it has the clear canisters that I want just upon you know looking at the box I have not opened it it's still sealed um, it has a computer that tells you it's quite intuitive for uh, for an RODI system. You know, I don't think it needs to be this intuitive, but it is. It has little uh, all kinds of little uh, features to it that tells you what's going on, and uh, you see here the bright digital display, status reading, leak detector with audible alarm, three point TDS readout, which is really nice to have automatic membrane flush which is awesome to have uh, timer or manual mode back pressure electronic shutoff switch basically an ASOB and uh, the eco-friendly crap that they like to boast one to two product wastewater um, which really does make up for itself over time um, rugged metal frame that it hangs on which is or that, you know you could have it setting up which is nice I mean that's honestly aesthetics I don't really get it but my initial view of it is, you know, I've never tried it before. I've had a, the best one I've ever owned was a uh, Vertex um, that, uh, that I loved, but I sold it. And uh, I was actually going to get another one of them, but uh, this one looked, you know, looked like it fit the bill. So uh, upon initial just looks of it, just from the box and the videos that I've seen, I I'm not fond of the colors. The color scheme, aesthetically, is definitely not my favorite. It's like this mustard color with the typical ice cap uh, logo on there, and that smart with the the green on there. I, I <laughs> think green. I, I don't. I guess uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess that markets to some people. Um, booster pump. I think the pressure gauge has oil. It's oil filled instead of water, which I like better. It uh, shows a smoother readout. Uh, leak detection, I'll, I don't know, I'll probably never use that, but good to have. So that's it, just on uh, pit, initial look of the box, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Okay, this, uh, I really hate seeing this. Um, I, I hate packing peanuts. Um, I understand that you want to keep things secure, but I just, I just despise packing peanuts, and there they are. I, I was hoping not to see this. I was hoping for some kind of nice form-fitted styrofoam something on the inside there, but no, instead we get these packing peanuts, so um, that's that's a huge negative to me. I, I do not like opening up boxes and seeing this shit, uh, but that's just me, you know, um, I'll get over it real quick, 
Uh, as a matter of fact, you won't even notice it, but I'll be over it in a second. And I figured it was worth noting showing what this looks like when you try to take it out of the box. That thing just went plop. That bag of hoses and there's the unit there. Um, definitely a lot better looking in real life than on camera. Um, it's really wide. Plenty of room up top to work with whatever fittings you ever want. Look how wide that is. I mean in comparison to my other one it's probably damn near twice the size or width wise but yeah that's uh, the mess I'm gonna have to clean up now I got a vacuum though okay so this is the DI media the filter comes with uh, feels like there's enough for just one fill which is fine because I have plenty and this is the tubing and um, it looks like there's a a piercing valve there for your uh, RO wastewater and this looks like a feed for a water hose uh, I am already set up for all this so I don't really need those parts uh, good to have the water hose one though I guess um, it's good to have new um, quarter inch line and me and my girlfriend went over to TNT and got some more cleanup crew um, I've got uh, I think like four pep shrimps back there for some Atasia. I have seen a couple already. Um, those are emerald crabs in that bag there. You can barely see them in this video. I can't see them. There we go. Kind of a cool colored one there. And uh, lawnmower blenny. I forgot all about those. The kid over there reminded me that they eat algae. So you can see some green here growing on my rocks. So that's that for now. I'm going to try to get everything else together. Okay, here's the RODI unit, kind of where it'll I just have it at an angle so you can see it. The gauge does indeed have oil um, instead of water in it, which I like better. There is the uh, computer on there. Here's the old one. I'll just have it to the side for now. Um, I like that the DI uh, carbon and sediment are all labeled. Uh, it does come with everything. Uh, there's the pump. I'm going to remove this canister here so you can see the pump. It's pretty large. Um, I'm sure everybody knows the size of a TDS meter, but you can see there how big that thing is. This is just a standard TDS meter. Cheap one. Um, so yeah, the sensor for it, the water sensor is here. There's plenty of uh, room to move it wherever you want it. I probably won't use this. It'll probably just stay there. Uh, everything seems in good order. Like I said, the width of this thing is ridiculous. It's kind of a pleasant surprise. There's plenty of room up there for doing any kind of maintenance. And then here's just a little example. The other one's like half the size. So, sorry about the mess. <laughs> But, yep, that's it. I'm going to get it going. Okay, here we go. Um, I messed up on a recording, so I'm starting over. Here it is running. The I uh, just started it back up to do its initial flush. And here you can see my uh, blue tube is my RODI water. It's coming out as zero. And the red line is my waistline, or wastewater which should be the full-on TDS that's uh, being flushed. Uh, it should be anywhere from 1 to 2 to 1 to 3. Uh, 1 being uh, your fresh water and three, 2 and 3 being your uh, wastewater. I think personally that I'm getting uh, exactly as advertised, uh, 1 to 2 or 1 to 3, which is much better than this unit was doing. Um, this unit was very slow, didn't pump at that speed, nowhere near. And that's definitely due to the pump uh, back there. Uh, so the way this thing works is here's where I have my um, water coming in. Uh, this is stage one. And this is part of the TDS monitor, which is this first feed. My first feed shows 203 ppm. And uh, second one being uh, after it goes through this carbon stage, it comes up here to this RO membrane, which has a 75 gallon per day uh, RO membrane. It's a Dow Film Tech. And uh, there's a monitor uh, 
monitoring port back here which shows this second number which is 3 TDS it's not really coming out well on my screen but you can kind of see it there and finally after it goes through here it comes down here to the DI stage which you do have to fill that whole thing up with DI resin which comes with the unit and um, that's where your fresh water comes out. The wastewater comes out here right after this uh, this flow meter or ASOB, whatever. And that comes down there uh, just straight from that tube. Then you hook up and you make it as long as you want. I already have a tube here that I'll plug into it later that's tied in with a saddle valve below the sink or uh, a drain valve that goes into the uh, drain. And this blue one is tapped off of my, my, my faucet right there. So there it is running. Um, pretty happy with how it's looking. I have a, a timer set up for another, you can't see it, but I don't know why that screen's not coming on this camera. But I have another uh, the timer on the bottom right of the blue screen. It's set for 21 more minutes. And then from there it should auto stop. Real easy unit to use, really sweet. Has more features than my old Vertex had. And uh, definitely uh, worth the buy. But I mean, time will tell, right? Let's see how these filters hold up.